Hi everyone. In this session, we are going to look at a topic in the unit three, engineering as social experimentation. So the topic for this session is code of ethics. We have seen what is ethics in the previous sessions and slides. Ethics is something which is saying the correct things. which is good which is bad whether it is right or wrong it is wholly based on the community uh, place where people are residing and it depends upon the workplace and it depends upon the profession so all things have to be uh, decided at their own discretion depending upon their places right so what is engineering code of ethics some professional organizations have addressed the complexity of moral issues in their fields by developing codes of ethics so what all the professional organizations uh, have done they have uh, looked into the problems whatever has happened with respect to the moral issues and depending upon Uh, depending upon the uh, right things they require in their field they have star they have developed a code of ethics which has to be strictly followed by the employees or by the um, by the people who are working in their organizations okay so professional code of ethics actually consists primarily of principles of responsibility that delineate delineate in the sense describes how to promote the public good so actual aim is to promote the public good by doing projects right so what are the roles of courts uh, we start uh, start with inspiration and guidance concerning obligation so this is very very important right so inspiration and guidance concerning obligations second one positive to uh, positive support to act ethically ethically then third one is motivation hope you all know what is motivation then fourth one is education and mutual understanding and uh, uh, fifth one is deterrence and discipline uh, then followed by professional image and how do we promote promoting business interests so the codes of the the codes are formed in order to play all these roles okay so it has to inspire and guide it has to be a positive support uh, for ethical things it has to motivate it has to be designed in such a way that it uh, focuses on education and understanding uh, deterrence and discipline and it is maintaining the professional image and uh, ultimately to promote the business interests okay so these are the roles of codes what are the limitations of these code of ethics it is general and vague wordings of codes so uh, generally the comments are it is vague wordings of codes and it has internal conflicts so a few members of are are of professional society and that is uh, there will there will be a few internal conflicts even amongst the members who are there in the residing in that professional bodies or professional society okay so uh, this is with respect to the code of ethics so code of ethics can be designed depending upon the professional organizations so for a doctor there will be a set of code of ethics for an engineer there will be a set of code of ethics for a nurse there ha there, there has to be certain ethics followed that is code of ethics followed right so uh, uh, all the most very important thing is we have seen whatever topics in uh, uh, unit 1 that is always focus on human values integrity discipline responsibility uh, responsibility sincerity commitment all these things are very important so more than the code of ethics uh, all these uh, general things are very very essential to uh, draft code of ethics in all the individuals rather than a professional you know, rather than being a professional okay 